avant d'avoir eu vent de vous, mon amour. I'm here with the uh, Singing Up a Storm singing group <laughs> and um, we're trying to travel around all the local communities uh, and give all the more remote areas the opportunity to come and join in with us. government and uh, to to get people together and to to uh, sing together and and we've got uh, this lovely woman Fiona Stewart that comes up from from Hobart to teach us and to put us through our paces I suppose you would say people congregated at the little base hospital which is the Midlands multi-purpose health centre which is in Oatlands, use the bus which is attached to that hospital and travel together out to you know these various towns. We decided to not just centre it in Oatlands because access by people who live in other townships within the southern Midlands to Oatlands is sometimes quite difficult. So we took the workshops to them used town halls and little community halls so that um, you know they're kept alive. We're at Levendale which is uh, well you could say it's a suburb of Oatlands really because it's all part of the of the Oatlands district. I enjoy the company and the people that have, um, are with us for music and I like to come because Fiona's patient and caring with us. I've come here to learn to sing because it's something I would like to learn to do better and um, also I have had enjoyment from it earlier in my life so I'm just getting back to something that I've always enjoyed. I enjoy it, right, for a start. And I've never actually learnt to sing, but I, but I do enjoy it. We had arrangements that we could hire these various calls. So the first day we arrived at the destination and it was completely deserted and locked up. We had to drive around the district, searching for people, trying to find someone who could let us in. And I came across people playing golf people from the who back were extraordinarily helpful. apparently going to come, yep. but I don't know their names. See, the, there's a lady up here underneath the trees there, you can just see her legs. Hey. Yeah. Sorry, we, had, we booked the hall for the singing. Did you? And it's locked and we were expecting quite a few people to come. Okay. Yes, people from that particular township didn't come to that workshop. Yes, there were several events going on. I saw your, um, your poster. Yes, thing. I did. Yeah. And, and the fact that I'm not going to be there is because I'm here. Yeah. Um, right. Can you just let us in so we can no, use it anyway? No, we've got a key. Do you know who we can get the key from? Uh, right, just a moment. There was a... Um, some sort of textile um, exhibition going on in the Central Highlands that a lot of people had apparently gone to. And there was a memorial golf match going on. Michael's 170. And I think it was also Clean Up Australia Day. But there were a lot of other activities. We really need to know what's happening in other centres so that plans don't clash as far as possible. And just while we're here, just put one hand on the lower belly, one hand at the back of the spine, base of the spine. And just feel that energy between the two hands. 
Fiona was absolutely fantastic. She's a very commanding, very accomplished teacher. So being aware that with each out breath, you can let some of that stored tension that often we don't even know that we're holding. Sometimes it takes being touched to realise, oh my gosh, I've been holding on a lot, you know, I've got to let go of. So using the out breath and the sound to actually let it go. She took people on a journey that I don't think they were aware they were about to undertake. Um, I think, yeah, people when they initially came were really quite surprised and perhaps a little bit tentative about some of the exercises that she was asking people to partake in. But she had the capacity to get people to really forget their own self-consciousness and just become involved and she really extended people extraordinarily. You being like a lot of wounded animals. <laughs> you, you learn different things that I never thought was possible and uh, yeah, it's really really good. Not really my cup of tea, but still. <laughs> There's pulling all funny faces, ex exercising your cheeks, uh, responding to one another. Someone makes a sound, and someone's got to uh, make the same sound. First we start off in, in one group and then we're divided into several groups and, until she gets what she wants from us. I love to sing. Um, it's, it's great for the body and the soul and it's important for your emotional balance. <laughs> um, I find that the exercises can be challenging but once you actually get into it it's quite simple. very important part of the workshop that people developed confidence in themselves and developed that confidence so that they could express it. Well I think generally in today's society self-expression is something that people find very difficult. I felt a bit silly, uh, but now I've relaxed and, and got used to the group. And that's a great thing too, is sort of coming together and, and, and feeling uh, capable of doing whatever in front of everyone now. Actually, I was a lot less nervous than I thought I would be. <laughs> I feel that I've been very brave. That's the, the beauty of the whole the whole group is that individually we're all all um, coming out of our shells and, and, and doing things that we haven't done before. I'll sing a phrase to you and you continue the phrase however you like. All right. Make it clear. Okay. Sunday afternoon in Cobra. Monday fall of food in Oakland, bringing lots of work. <laughs> Wednesday's bingo day, laundry day on Thursday. 
no, I can see a link between singing and, and being healthy because for a start it exercises your lungs and this is something that a lot of us don't do enough nowadays is exercise our lungs with walking and that you know we tend to just drive the car and sit down watch television etc etc I suffer a bit from asthma and, and I find it, and as I get older it seems to be getting a bit worse and so I find it very good for that. I think it also uh, helps you with your memory too because, you, you, because you've got to try and remember where your lines are, where you've got to come in, what the verses are. Yeah, listen to them and uh, pick it up all the time. And that you've got to use the just up there to do that. Yeah. a lot to me. It's it's very important for my emotional balance. Um, it's a release, it's a social um, escape. Uh, I've met some really nice people here and they're, they're becoming quite good friends. Um, it's a way of getting out of the house, getting away and just having a lot of fun. And also the, the emotional side of it. There's a lot of healing in singing and music in general, I think. Can't you see I've changed, dear? Can't you see I've paid? If you knew what I've been through, then you'd know why I ask you. Have you ever been I think if we can get enough people interested and get a, a concert going and we can draw, we, we can draw, it, it, it should draw people, that's what I'm getting at, it should really draw people in to, uh, to, to come along and see what we're, 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 we're on about and uh, yeah, I think that would be very helpful. Well, we hope to encourage other people along um, get them involved? Well the community can physically enjoy a group possibly singing publicly which would be really good for them and also encourages people to to lose their inhibitions and find something within themselves that they may not have otherwise found if they hadn't had this opportunity. These sort of opportunities especially in small areas like this are hard to come by. Um, there's lots of things that that we could do but singing is is one of the first that we should be doing because it's nearly lost in our culture, everyday life, singing. In that sense of freedom, everybody at the end of a day's workshop just had so much more energy and were really enlivened. And they said they could sing on and on, like we'd sung for six hours.
Oh. 